Wake up. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Now the main problem area is up here. All of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You lose. You serious? Hey, what the fuck is that? What is that? Hey, man, man, what is that? What is that? Look, it doesn't even fucking come out. What is that? Sorry, chef. Are you fucking stupid? No, I'm not stupid, chef. Oh, my God. Do I dare ask you to call your next witness? I have no further witnesses, Your Honor. What are you doing? Call me. You do not understand. I can't. I can't. see you bastard. The Suicide Squad gave us the scope. Not a chance. And then the idea of being able to expand that, be able to take this further, it's gonna feel completely fresh. It's false. In that spirit, we want to deliver totally new content at no cost for those who purchase Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. No way. Every aspect of our games, we always look at it through the lens of Rocksteady's treatment. Wrong. And that just doesn't stop at gameplay, that doesn't stop at story. When we're looking at the social features that we've really introduced into Suicide Squad, it has Rocksteady's approach. No. For players who survived the war against Brainiac's forces and want to keep the adventure going, Rocksteady is ready. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is going to be one of the most generous, player-friendly, post-launch experiences available. <laughs> I'm done! And your ass ain't talking your way out of this shit. No, no, no. I just want you to know how... I just want you to know how sorry we are that, that things got so fucked up. It, 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 we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Please, continue.